Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show. And now we've moved over with another Bahamian musical legend, Freddie Munnings Jr. And the Jr. is there because his father was an even more iconic Bahamian legend, Freddie Munnings. <laughs> No question about that, Charlie. It's great to see you. It's good to see you again. Yeah, I, I, I reflect on the last time I did a TV show with you talking about music. Uh, my dad was with us and mm -hmm. my brother Raphael, mm -hmm. which was another an legendary, an incredible experience. Yeah, and that's another legendary Bahamian Absolutely. artist. Absolutely. Well, Your whole family. Well, the Munnings family is really known for its music uh, contribution to the country, mm -hmm. uh, starting with my dad. Uh, Ralph Munnings, of course, uh, extraordinary uh, saxophonist, and my, my cousin Tinkle and Dr. Off, another first cousin, uh, and uh, Tony McKay. All right, stop. Dr. <laughs> Off, you all got to, like, people, yeah. a lot of these young people don't know Dr. Don't Off. Know now, they might is. know because they sing the Tyrone song. Tyrone Fitzgerald, Dr. Get Off. Get involved, get, I mean, you yeah. know. He was a co-writer on Funky Dancer as well. Wow. And did a lot of original junk. Actually, one of the first Bahamian artists to really uh, commercialize the street sound of junk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that is not a very easy no. sound to record. No, no. Difficult. Very difficult because of the type of instruments. Mm -hmm. The cowbells, which could be piercing. The whistles, which could be piercing. And the drums that lose uh, tim timber mm -hmm. and, and tune because of the heating mm -hmm. mechanisms. Yeah, wow. So now they've reverted to using Tom Tom, so yeah. well, it's we another getting, story. Yeah, we're getting technical yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, it is amazing, and of course, your, your song, which was like the, the, big, the big thing for that, for a couple of years, all the best things. Well, I don't want to version that song. Yeah, 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 stick to, stick to your, your day job. <laughs> no, uh, you didn't have to say that on TV, <laughs> on my own show, but it's okay, coming from him. I, I take no, it, you know. That, that, that was, that as, was as, my as, um, quote unquote signature song. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people tell me that I'm responsible for their marriages and, and, and all kinds of but, but and no, babies. thank you. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I didn't want to say that or to you. No, but great. Yes, yeah. thank you, Charlie. But the reason, because I've had, you know, you know, I wish this show could be like three hours long. Oh. I could have every Bahamian yes. musician, but I can't. But I've had Eddie Minnis, oh. KB, yes. and yourself, thank you. and we've spoken about some. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I wanted to come to you again is because not only do you have that background, mm -hmm. but you are still doing things today. And what I really like is you are promoting Yes. Bahamians and also like where we are, we're at the Spot Spotlight Lounge here right. out in Coral Harbor and where you, there's Bahamian music, Bahamian live music. Absolutely. So tell me about that, uh, well, the Spotlight Lounge and also where people could also see other Bahamian live music. Very simply, uh, two very good friends of mine who are excellent entertainers in their own right, Naomi Taylor Crawford and Clinton Crawford, mm -hmm. came to me with an idea, listen, we need some place to showcase our young talent and a not so young talent. As you said, back in the day, the Cat and Phil and the Zanzibar, Silver Slipper, and the, the list goes on and on yes. and on. Uh, they were incubators in my mind for young artists coming into the music industry. My dad always told me that the only way that you're gonna learn how to perform is to get on stage mm -hmm. and perform in front of people. And so after the demise of the nightclub industry, some 40 nightclubs in New Providence, there was no place for the young artists to really learn how to perform. And so uh, when Naomi and Clinton came with the concept of the Spotlight Lounge, that was exactly what we need. And for the last year, this year, uh, um, this month happens to be our anniversary month. Independence, yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's incredible because what we have done was actually created a spot, very intimate, called the Spotlight Lounge, where young artists can come and actually showcase themselves, learn how to perform, watch other artists perform. Mm -hmm. As in my day, we would watch the likes of a, a Nat King Cole or Count Basie or uh, whoever came to the Cat and Phil. Uh, or a Richie Delamore or a Peanuts Taylor or, you know, uh, uh, the list goes on. Yeah. Uh, Carl Bryce, some of these names young people don't even know. Mm -hmm. So who do they watch today? How do they get their experience? My, my greatest um, education in music was when I watched superstars perform. Mm -hmm. When I watch a Stevie Wonder or when I watch a Al Green yeah. or, or Lionel Richie. 
you learn, that's a master class mm -hmm. in music. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize, sorry to cut you off, that yes. a lot of these great big celebs from around the world came, uh, came played. Here, played at the Gatineau. And, and they love coming to the Bahamas. Came to the Gatineau. Yeah. Sammy Davis, you, you name them. They Paul were there. Anka, they actually played and was, and these were the icons that people like a Ralph Munnings or Raphael Munnings or even myself to a lesser degree looked at and learned from. Yeah. So this is what the spotlight is all about. It's an incubator where young people could come and actually learn how to perform. Yeah. And, and I, again, I can't say enough kudos to Naomi and Clinton. Yeah, they're, they're, saying, they're saying YouTube University. No, this sir. real life university. Real you, gotta, life. you gotta come You and jump in it. and swim. You <laughs> come right. in and five nights a week, live entertainment. Yeah. No other place in the country, save for the mega resorts, right. even come close to doing that. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're doing. That, that's what I hope the mega resorts see. I, I wanna see Absolutely. them. They should only have Bahamian music. I Listen. mean, because if you travel the world, if, like say if you go to Japan, yeah. you ain't going over there to see you know, you know, like some American music or not even Bahamian. You might be like, what? That's a Bahamian music. But you want to see the, the culture. Only way to experience the Bahamas is to experience the culture of the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And the way to experience the culture of the Bahamas is to experience the people of the Bahamas. And entertainers bring that to the visitor. Mm -hmm. That's what the Cat and Phil was. That's what the Zanzibar was. That's what Penis Taylor was. That has been destroyed. Now we are depending on the foreign interest to tell us mm -hmm. or bring imitation of Michael Jackson or Beyonce or somebody mm -hmm. else and say, I've been to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. and, 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 or that, we have to ask them or beg them, can you put a little, you know, absolutely. with the spotlight lines, Every, they don't have, no, we, we do it ourselves. This is our thing. And all genres of music. The other day we had uh, Gifton here. Uh, mm. uh, I mean, yeah, Gifton's been on the show. Fantastic. Yeah. A young lady from the University of the Bahamas playing violin on oh, this stage. Wow. And then you could see a Paul Hanna. Mm -hmm. You could see a Naomi and Clinton. You could see a Fred Bunnings mm -hmm. and others. And the young artists are sitting there watching yeah. and learning. Mm -hmm. um, starting in another couple of weeks, we're going to be doing our talent quest. Okay. Where we will be inviting young artists to come and to perform. Okay. And we're going to find, and the winner of that competition will get a week of engagement to work here oh. or a month. Yeah. Right here at the lounge. Perfect. And, and be paid. Perfect. Perfect. That's the idea. Well, I'm so happy I got yes. to have you. I mean, we've been hanging out together not only with music, but yes. also film oh, with absolutely. our film. See you how know. the main cell sets, which is yes. it's exposing uh, Bahamian Again, tradition in a, a different form. There you Sailing. Go. But we incorporated the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. certainly did. That's we did. We That's we did. did. And we have a Freddie Munning senior song absolutely. in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. But listen, it's a, it's a pleasure always. Mm -hmm. and, but like I said, we got to get back to basics in the country with regard to the music industry which is we got to help our young people to learn how to perform mm -hmm. and help them learn how to write mm -hmm. good songs. Mm -hmm. Because what you hear today, Charlie, I am really, in this 50th anniversary year of our country, I'm, I'm somewhat taken aback and disappointed because we have regressed in the music industry. Back in the day when my dad was on the scene and people like Eric Cash and Lou Adams and Duke Errol and Penis Taylor and, and the like, our music was respected around mm -hmm. the world. Funky Dancer is a classic example mm -hmm. of it. But what have we done within the last 20, 30 years to impact the international arena? Not very much. Mm -hmm. Funky Nassau, we are told, by the persons who created the music in around the world, that it was the impetus to start the disco movement in right. America. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Tony McKay has influenced tremendous artists all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we have talented people here. We have very, very creative artists, but we don't have any places for them to be showcased. All right. That's what the Spotlight Lounge is all about. Very good. So as Freddie says, come on out to the Spotlight Lounge and uh, check it out. And there's, listen, you know, we're big up Spotlight, but there's other venues too mm -hmm. that are trying I, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a venue out right off of, uh, like, by Harbor Bay, uh, and they have somebody mm. playing mm. something. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're venues. Look for it. Just right. start looking. When you see it, support it, okay? Because the only way it can keep going is we if you to. support it. And then if you all are sitting at home and making noise about there ain't no, nothing to do or whatever, it's your own fault. So you got to come out, okay? Got to have it. Five nights a week, live entertainment, Wednesday through Sunday, every night, right here at the Spotlight. And I've been here, so I know it was good, Absolutely. okay? 
So Thank more you. Charlie Bahama right after this.